The Horten Flying Wing refers to the Horten Ho 229, an advanced German stealth jet prototype developed by the Horten brothers during World War II. It was one of the first aircraft designed with a blended flying wing shape, reducing radar detection, making it a precursor to modern stealth technology. Powered by two Junkers Jumo 004 turbojet engines, the Ho 229 was capable of reaching 600 miles per hour, making it faster than most Allied fighters of the era. Its revolutionary all-wing design eliminated the need for a tail, reducing drag and increasing speed. However, the war ended before it could enter full production. Captured by U.S. forces in 1945, the Ho 229 influenced future designs, including the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Despite never being fully operational, the Horton Flying Wing remains one of the most groundbreaking and futuristic aircraft designs of the 20th century. The Philippine Mars penultimate flight refers to a historic flight of the Philippine Mars, a massive flying boat and the last operational PBY Catalina in the world. The PBY Catalina, originally developed by Consolidated Aircraft in the 1930s, was used extensively during World War II for anti-submarine warfare, reconnaissance, and search and rescue missions. The Philippine Mars, one of the last remaining Catalinas, was a unique example of the aircraft's evolution. In its penultimate flight, the Philippine Mars demonstrated its enduring versatility, flying long distances across vast stretches of water while showcasing the aircraft's legendary durability and capabilities. This event marked the end of an era for the PBY Catalina, a vital aircraft in World War II and beyond. The Philippine Mars itself was retired, but its last flights remained a testament to the legacy of the Catalina as one of the most successful and iconic flying boats in aviation history. The Malfwerf 4U, Four Corsair was one of the most advanced variants of the legendary Vought F 4U Corsair, a carrier-based fighter used in World War II in the Korean War. Introduced in 1944, the F 4U4 featured a more powerful Pratt in Whitney R2818 watts radial engine, producing 2,450 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of 446 miles per hour, 718 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest piston engine fighters of its time. Its signature inverted gull wing design allowed for a larger propeller, improving performance, while its 6.50 caliber M2 Browning machine guns and the ability to carry rockets and bombs made it a deadly fighter bomber. The F-4U-4 excelled in dogfights against Japanese aircraft and later Soviet-made MiGs in Korea. With superior speed, firepower, and rugged design, the Corsair became one of the most iconic naval fighters ever built. The Republic XF-84H Thunder Screech was an experimental turboprop aircraft developed in the 1950s that became infamous for being one of the loudest aircraft ever built. Based on the F-84 Thunderjet, it was designed to combine the efficiency of a turboprop engine with the speed of a jet, aiming to reach supersonic speeds, a goal never achieved. Its Allison XT-40A1 turboprop engine drove a three-bladed propeller that rotated at supersonic speeds, creating an ear-splitting sonic boom on the ground. The noise was so intense, measuring over 180 decibels, that it caused nausea, headaches, and even knocked engineers unconscious. Despite its impressive theoretical speed, uncontrollable vibrations, stability issues, and extreme noise led to the project's cancellation after only 12 test flights. The XF-84H remains one of the most dangerous and impractical aircraft designs in history. The Ferry Rotodyne was a groundbreaking British hybrid aircraft developed in the 1950s, combining features of a helicopter and a fixed-wing airplane. Designed as a vertical takeoff and landing VTUL transport, it had a large rotor for liftoff and landing while conventional turboprop engines provided forward thrust in flight. This made it an early tilt rotor concept, predating modern aircraft like the VE-22 Osprey. 
The Rotodyne's rotor was powered by tip jets during takeoff and landing, eliminating the need for a tail rotor. Once airborne, the rotor auto-rotated, reducing fuel consumption. It could carry up to 48 passengers and reach speeds of 190 miles per hour, 306 kilometers per hour, making it ideal for short-haul city-to-city transport. Despite successful tests, the project was canceled due to high noise levels, lack of funding, and shifting military priorities. However, the Ferry Rotodyne remains a visionary design that influenced modern VTOL aircraft development. The Soviet Union's VVA-14 was a highly ambitious amphibious aircraft designed in the 1970s by Robert Bartini to counter U.S. nuclear submarines. Developed by the Soviet Union, the VVA-14, Vertikalnov Zlatyushchaya Amphibia-14, was meant to take off vertically, VTOL, fly at high speeds and operate over water and land while carrying advanced anti-submarine warfare, ASW systems. The aircraft featured a unique inflatable pontoon system, allowing it to land on both land and sea. It was also designed to operate as an plan, using the ground effect to glide efficiently over water at low altitudes. Powered initially by two jet engines, later versions were planned to include additional lift jets for vertical takeoff. However, due to technical difficulties, lack of funding, and Bartini's death, the project was canceled after limited test flights. Today, the VVA-14's only remaining prototype sits as a relic of Soviet experimental aviation at the Central Air Force Museum in Russia. F-16 Falcons 8 Hawks for breakfast refers to the legendary dominance of the F-16 Fighting Falcon over the BAE Hawk in aerial combat exercises. The General Dynamics F-16, introduced in the 1970s, is a highly maneuverable, supersonic, multi-role fighter jet used by air forces worldwide. It was designed for air superiority and ground attack, featuring advanced avionics, a fly-by-wire control system, and a powerful Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbofan engine. In training exercises, the F-16 consistently outperformed the BAE Hawk, a subsonic trainer aircraft used for pilot instruction. While the Hawk is respected for its agility, it lacks the speed, weaponry, and advanced radar systems of the F-16, making it an easy target in simulated combat. This phrase symbolizes the overwhelming advantage of modern supersonic fighters over subsonic trainers. Reinforcing the F-16's reputation as a dominant force in aerial warfare. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, known as the Warthog, is a heavily armored close air support jet designed to destroy enemy tanks, vehicles, and ground forces. Built by Fairchild Republic in the 1970s, it features a titanium bathtub cockpit for pilot protection straight wings for excellent low-speed maneuverability, and twin General Electric TF-34 turbofan engines mounted above the fuselage for survivability in battle. Its most iconic weapon is the GAU-8A Avenger, a 30mm Gatling gun capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute, shredding armored targets. Designed to withstand heavy damage, the A-10 can keep flying even with severely damaged wings or engines. Despite its aging design, upgrades keep it relevant, making it one of the most feared and respected close air support aircraft in military history. The V-22 Osprey is a cutting-edge tilt-rotor aircraft developed by Bell Helicopter and Boeing, designed to combine the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL ability of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing aircraft. Its two powerful Rolls-Royce AE-1107C engines allow it to transition from helicopter mode for vertical lift to airplane mode for high-speed flight, reaching over 275 miles per hour and covering over 1,000 nautical miles without refueling. Used by the U.S. Marine Corps Air Force and Navy, the V-22 is essential for troop transport, special operations, and search and rescue missions. While early development faced technical and safety challenges, continuous improvements have made the Osprey a critical asset in modern military operations, offering unmatched speed, 
versatility, and combat capability. The Soviet flying aircraft carrier projects were ambitious Cold War era concepts aimed at creating massive airborne motherships that could carry and deploy smaller fighter jets mid-flight. Inspired by the U.S. Air Force's experiments with parasite fighters, the Soviets explored designs where a large bomber or airship could serve as a mobile launch platform for interceptors. One notable concept was the Zveno project, developed in the 1930s, where a Tupolev TB-3 bomber carried smaller I-16 fighters, which could detach mid-air to engage enemy aircraft. Later in the 1960s, the Soviets considered using a modified Tu-95 or Antonov and Tu-25 to launch MiG-21s or other interceptors. While no large-scale Soviet flying aircraft carrier ever materialized, the idea influenced modern aerial refueling, drone swarms, and airborne command centers, proving the vision behind such futuristic warfare concepts. The F-14 Tomcat was a legendary carrier-based supersonic fighter jet developed by Grumman for the U.S. Navy. Introduced in the 1970s, it became famous for its variable sweep wings, which could adjust for high-speed combat or slow carrier landings. Powered by twin Pratt and Whitney TF-30 or General Electric F-110 engines, it could reach speeds of Mach 2.34, 1,544 miles per hour, or 2,485 kilometers per hour. Armed with a 20 millimeter M61 Vulcan cannon, the F-14 carried long-range AIM-54 Phoenix missiles, capable of tracking and destroying multiple targets simultaneously. It played a key role in Cold War air superiority, Gulf War missions, and Operation Enduring Freedom. Retired in 2006, the F-14 remains an icon of military aviation, immortalized by its role in Top Gun, and remembered as one of the most versatile and powerful fighter jets ever built. One of the most harrowing stories of World War II aviation involved a B-17 flying fortress that lost its entire tail section, with the tail gunner still inside. Yet miraculously, he survived. This occurred during a bombing mission over Europe, when a B-17 was hit by enemy fire, severing its tail from the fuselage. The gunner, Sergeant Alan Magee, was trapped inside as the wreckage plummeted four miles, 20,000 feet to the ground. Incredibly, Magee survived the fall after crashing through the glass roof of a train station in France, which absorbed part of the impact. Though he suffered multiple injuries, he was captured, treated by German forces, and later liberated after the war. His survival remains one of the most astonishing wartime aviation stories, proving the resilience of both human willpower and sheer luck in the face of near certain death. The Lockheed CL-1201 was an insanely massive conceptual aircraft designed in the 1960s as a nuclear-powered airborne aircraft carrier. With a wingspan of 1,120 feet, 341 meters, more than three football fields, it was envisioned to stay airborne for weeks, refueling smaller planes mid-air. Powered by a nuclear reactor, the CL-1201 would have used jet engines for takeoff and then switched to nuclear propulsion for extended flight. Designed to carry up to 22 fighter jets, it could support military operations anywhere in the world without needing a land base. However, the concept was ultimately deemed too impractical with concerns over nuclear safety, cost, and sheer size. While it was never built, the CL-1201 remains one of the most ambitious and extreme aircraft designs ever proposed showcasing the bold vision of Cold War era aviation engineering. CIA agent fell to earth likely refers to the mysterious and tragic story of Douglas Grote or Frank Olson, two CIA affiliated individuals linked to controversial intelligence operations. However, the most famous case related to this phrase is the 1953 death of Frank Olson a scientist working for the CIA. Olson, a biochemist involved in secret biological warfare programs, allegedly fell from the 13th floor of a New York hotel 
under suspicious circumstances. Initially ruled a suicide, later investigations suggested he may have been pushed due to his growing unease with MKUltra, a covert CIA program that involved LSD experiments and psychological manipulation. Decades later, Olson's family pursued legal action and forensic evidence hinted at foul play, fueling speculation that he was eliminated by the CIA to prevent leaks about unethical experiments. His case remains one of the most debated deaths in intelligence history. The SW-51 Mustang is a full-scale carbon fiber replica of the legendary P-51 Mustang, developed by Scale Wings Aircraft. Unlike the original World War II fighter, the SW-51 is a light sport aircraft LSA, designed for modern aviation enthusiasts who want the look and feel of a classic warbird without the cost and complexity of maintaining a vintage aircraft. The SW-51 features a Rotax 915 IS engine, providing 141 horsepower, along with modern avionics, lightweight materials, and improved fuel efficiency. It retains the authentic, riveted look of the original P-51, but with the benefits of advanced composite construction, making it lighter and more efficient. Recently, the SW-51 Mustang was spotted flying in Utah, drawing attention for its stunning resemblance to the original fighter. Whether at air shows or private airstrips, this aircraft delivers a thrilling P-51 experience in a modern, sport-friendly package.